What's going on everybody, Estas here, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about Virgin Galactic. We're going to be breaking down Virgin Galactic stock, going over whether it's time to buy in 2021, is it time to sell, and I also want to break down some charts, do some quick technical analysis on Virgin Galactic to see where the stock could be going here in the short term. So if you guys find value, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, make sure to join the Discord chat, the Facebook group, get your sell four stocks from Webull and $30 from M1 Finance. All of those are free and linked right down below in the description box. So let's get into it. First and foremost, today, Virgin Galactic stock is up over 4%. And yesterday, it also did very well. I think it closed the day up 7%. But for those of you guys that don't even know what Virgin Galactic is, you're looking at this chart and you're like, what does this even mean, Stas? So what is Virgin Galactic? Virgin Galactic is an integrated aerospace company that develops human space flight for private individuals and researchers in the United States. It also manufactures air and space vehicles and the company's spaceship operations include commercial human spaceflight, flying commercial research, and development payloads into space. And what we've been seeing and what we have to understand with companies that are dealing with space, right? These companies are extremely, extremely capital intensive. You can't just have three million bucks and you're like, ah, today I'm going to go start my own spaceship company. I'm going to fly people into space for human space flight or any other form of traveling. And I'm just going to do this. No, that's not how it works, guys. These companies, they need a ton of money. And at this point in time, I believe Virgin Galactic has around $600 million, $700 million in cash. And they actually burn tens of millions per quarter, right? They burn actually 50 to 60, maybe even 70, right around that range, million dollars per quarter and they don't even make money guys so that's what's worth noting as well this company it, it's it's very cost intensive it needs a lot of money to continue right and, and a lot of money in research development 60 70 million dollars a quarter they're burning through that and they're not making money at all. So this is pretty risky. And I would view this company, this stock, as a speculative investment. I'm not looking at this as a safe blue chip stock. This is a stock, honestly, that I wouldn't put a ton of money into in terms of my portfolio of net worth, let's say, for example, right? I wouldn't put, let's say, 20% of my net worth in Virgin Galactic, maybe I'd put 1%, maybe 2%, something like that, right? At least in my personal opinion, and I'm not a financial advisor, guys, you know that. And another thing worth noting is despite them losing tens of millions a quarter, they don't have a lot of money at all in terms of revenue, right? They're not making much money there. They actually have a ton of people signed up for their service. In fact, they have over 600 people signed up for their human space flights, and each of these tickets, you guys are probably like, oh, they go for you know, 50 grand, right? Or 20 grand. No, each of these tickets go for $250,000. And if you do the math very quickly, which I don't even have the math done, let me do it very quickly for you guys. 250,000 times 600, that is $150 million. So they have a backlog of $150 million that could one day be revenue if all these 600 people go through and they pay that $250,000. So that is promising. And there's a lot of future potential with this company that we will get to later on in this video. But now let's talk about their test flight. They recently had a test flight, right? And this is another big thing with Virgin Galactic. And honestly, with space companies in general, they, like I said, they, they cost a lot of money, a lot of money into research and development. There's a lot of regulations. There's a lot of checks and balances to get to the point where you could actually fly, right? And this really affects 
the stock price. In this case, Virgin Galactic is one of the only companies that you could actually, you know, publicly buy and trade out there. You know, there's not too many others that deal with space. But what you've noticed here is with these test flights, regulations, checks and balances and so forth, these things affect the stock's price negatively and positively, right? And you guys can see here with their recent test flight on this four hour chart, you can see it. This stock went from $36 down to $23 after the bad news. We'll talk about that in a second. And before that, heading into the test flight, the stock actually ran. It went from $21 all the way up to $36. So this actually opens up a lot of money to be made in the short term, especially if you're a trader, if you're into trading momentum stocks like this. So with that aside, let's talk about what actually happened with their first manned test flight that was actually scheduled for late November that got pushed back into December. So you guys can see how these dates correlate with the chart. It was supposed to be here um, in the middle of November, late November, and it got pushed back into the, the middle of December. And you guys can see what happened middle of December. And we'll talk about that right now. So this flight was the first of three remaining space flight tests the company planned to conduct to complete development of its spacecraft system. The third of which, the third test flight of which would carry founder Sir Richard Branson. And that's another big thing with Virgin Galactic and the stock's price. If they could successfully take Richard Branson into space and safely return him back, that's going to be a huge, massive, if not the biggest accomplishment for this company and thus the stock price will do well. And let's carry on from here, right? The flight did not reach, this is quote unquote, straight from Michael Coalglazer, the CEO of Virgin Galactic. The flight did not reach space as we had been planning after being released from its mothership. The spaceship's onboard computer that monitors the rocket motor lost connection. As designed, this triggered a fail-safe scenario that intentionally halted ignition of the rocket motor. Following this occurrence, our pilots flew back to Spaceport America and landed gracefully as usual. The company expects to repeat the space flight attempt from its operating house at Spaceport America in New Mexico. Cole Glazer said that Virgin Galactic is evaluating the data from the test and did not indicate when it expects to be ready to launch again, with the company saying it has several rocket engines ready on site and will check the vehicle and be back to flight soon. And that's a big thing here, like we can see with the stock's price. When these test flights don't go as planned, the stock's price goes down. We can see that with the spike to 36 and then the drop down to $23. And the great thing is, which we'll get into here in a second, they safely landed back onto Earth, meaning their fail-safe measures, they worked. So if a, if a mission doesn't go as planned, they have to abort. It worked. It worked. They got back safely. And unfortunately, back in 2014, they did see a casualty, right? And now that we see six year, uh, years later, they aborted mission, they got back safe and sound. That is a huge improvement. And that is also a positive, in my opinion, when you're looking at this from an investment perspective and through the perspective of the stock itself, right? I think it's uh, it makes it a little bit more safer, right? Although it is still a speculative company. And like I just said, right, and this came from a Credit Suisse analyst here, quote unquote, although this weekend's power test flight was not a success, the silver lining is that Virgin Galactic was able to prove that its built-in fail-safe scenarios worked properly, enabling Spaceship 2 to glide safely back to Earth without jeopardizing the safety of anybody on board. The successful triggering of fail-safe scenarios should help quell some investor concerns over the risk of a catastrophic event like we saw back in 2014. And that's literally what I just told you guys, right? And that is huge for the stock in general and for confidence with the whole 
process that Virgin Galactic is building. And recently we got a little bit more insight via Virgin Galactic's Twitter when it comes down to their test flight. And they said here, quote unquote, following our test flight on December 12th, we have completed the post-flight inspections and root cause analysis of what caused the onboard computer to halt ignition of the rocket motor corrective actions have been defined and work is already underway and once this corrective work has been implemented and verified we will confirm our pre-flight timeline for the next test flight and share expected dates for when the flight window will open and overall ever since they tweeted this gave a little bit more clarity to traders investors the public out there the stock has been doing well it's been going up from $25 now you guys can see we're about to test $28 and me personally guys when it comes to Virgin Galactic stock I am bullish and just to prove it to you guys I bought a hundred shares today let me take a look here I think it was at $20 and 30 or 27 30 yeah 27 34 and that's on top of the existing position that I've already built in one of my retirement accounts where I'm in Virgin Galactic at like $18, maybe $20. So overall, guys, me personally, I'm bullish. And the question here is, where could Virgin Galactic be going in the short term? So let's take a look here. We can see on the yearly chart, this thing was once a $43 stock. That was back in February of 2020, almost one year ago. And ever since then, it's gone all over the place from $40, $9, $26, back to $14, back to $35, $36 just recently. And now we've pulled down and you guys can see on this yearly chart, we're holding the uptrend. We found a temporary bottom ever since we got that aborted mission. The stock seemed to have found a temporary bottom. It's consolidated. And now the uptrend's continuing. We've held that 50 SMA and now we're pushing up to test a very big level. And that level is right at 28 Dollars. That is where we failed back in the end of July. We failed there back in the end of December. And honestly, guys, and again, I, I bought 100 bucks or 100 shares. I'll probably buy maybe another 100 shares if we pop out of this. Honestly, I think if we break above 28, I think we're going $30 plus in anticipation of this reflight, of this test flight that they're going to launch again here whenever they do do that. And if they successfully launch this time, everything goes as planned. Honestly, guys, I think Virgin Galactic could be up above this previous high. I think we could maybe even go up above $40. And I'm going to come back in the future, four or five months from now, maybe half a year, to see where the stock's price is if everything goes as planned. And, and honestly, if we get Richard Branson up there, and I think $40 could easily be hit and that is why I'm buying into it right now. And quite honestly, long term, there's even more potential. I could easily see Virgin Galactic be a $60 price stock. And you guys see people on YouTube saying, and with other stocks, you know, they're like Virgin Galactic to $500, you know, Neo stock to $750, Tesla to $8,000. You know, I'm not going to give a ridiculous price prediction on Virgin Galactic, but I will say $40 plus is where I think we could be going here in the next couple of months. And let's say a year to 12, or, or no, that is 12 months, 12 to 18 months, $60 plus is where I think we could be going. And if you want to be very generous and you want to have a high ball target, $100 plus is where we could be going. If we get Richard Branson up there and if we start actually getting customers into space safely, this scales out and we just really see you know, the, the, the business in motion, because again, we haven't actually gotten humans into space quite yet. Uh, but if everything starts rolling, I can see this easily a hundred dollars plus. And you guys obviously have to take these, uh, price predictions with a grain of salt. Of course, like with anything here on YouTube, that is just my opinion, right? And always you must do your own due diligence. And before we end the video, guys, before I forget, I almost forgot there's a lot of future growth 
with Virgin Galactic. Not only with their, you know, human space flights, all that good stuff, but with hypersonic travel. This is something that they're in the very early stages of, and honestly, this is not something that we expect for at least 5 to 10 years but this is something that could revolutionize the way we travel in this world, right? We could see flights, let's say, from hypothetically San Francisco uh, to Europe in two hours. That's what hypersonic travel is. We can travel from, let's say, the East Coast here where I'm at. Let's say we travel from JFK to, to Greece, for example. I'm from Greece. You know, that would be a nice trip. I wish I could go there now. But let's say, for example, we do that trip. That could be an hour flight, for example. I don't know, or two hours or something, right? So that is what hypersonic travel is. And Morgan Stanley forecasts this being an $800 billion in annual sales industry for hypersonic travel, but this is by 2040. So yeah, I mean, guys, this is a very long ways away, and who knows if Virgin Galactic is even going to get to that point. This is pure speculation, so you also have to take that with a grain of salt, but the fact that they're in it in the early stages, and we could see this in 10, 15 years, maybe, maybe less, who knows. It all depends on the technology, obviously, but having this in the future on top of the human space flight. Uh, I think that's pretty awesome and I'm bullish on this again more as a speculative play and I just bought 100 shares today at $27.35 literally right where it's at right now. So let me know your thoughts on Virgin Galactic guys. Drop a comment down below. Let me know are you buying? Are you selling? Are you just holding out and waiting at this point? And if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join the Discord chat and the Facebook group. Get yourself four stocks from Webull as well. All you have to do is deposit $100 and you get four stocks valued up to $1,600. And make sure to also check out that M1 Finance referral link Simply open up an account, deposit any amount of money, and you get $30 to invest. And both of those, the M1 link and the Webull link, those are linked right down below in the description box. So I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. As always, keep crushing the market. Stay safe out there, guys. Peace out.